has hung up. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous old lady. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous old lady. Thank you. You have forty-five dollars and sixty-four cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Good morning, gorgeous. Hello. Good morning. You just woke up? You gotta hear the phone ring? Huh? You didn't hear the phone I just now heard it. I, t- I had to tell Mar to grab it. Oh. I love you, gorgeous, and I'm sorry about last night. I wasn't accusing you. I was worried about you because you said you couldn't move and your back has been killing you. Didn't know you took off late, late that night to go walking around to go get the shit. That's all I'm saying. I wasn't trying to be rude to you. I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings. I wasn't trying to do none of that shit, Larissa. I love you, my wife. All I kept trying to do was get you to shut up and calm down so I can tell you this. But you just kept going on and on and on and on. And that's where I'm asking you, what is wrong? Nothing's wrong with me. Then do you think I deserve to be yelled at like that last night for no reason? I don't think it was for no reason. Did you see the way you were coming at me? Yeah, I do. But you didn't give me a I chance mean, to apologize. You just kept going and going and going and going. Wrong. All I asked you was, why did you wait so late to go walking around to the stores? It gets, it, do, gets dark, it gets dark late. I mean, early. I know. It gets dark at 5 o'clock, babe. Right. But so I, I you, by the go ahead. By the time I even said to get up and left the out of here, it was already about five. I had to hurry up try to make it to the base before they closed. By the time I said every tomorrow and them got home, they always get home almost about four. I had to get everybody dressed. I had to sit there, go try to rush it to the bank. Why didn't they you make it to the it. bank? The I bank opened till six. I did make it to the bank. You told me last night you didn't. You said you couldn't even go pull money out to the bank because the bank was closed. Right. I said, no, I didn't say it was closed. <laughs> the machine thing was broke. So, oh. therefore, they couldn't do the, uh, the thing. And I said, you, I said, you guys, the thing is broke again. And she says, well, yeah, she says, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to have to have somebody come out here and take a look at it and just make that, whatever. What the fuck? So, they started walking from there to around. Cut the right over there by Gallagher and kept walking. And we went walking to uh, Dollar General. The one right there on Madison. I, don't, I didn't know there was a I know there was a family dollar on Madison and Clark. I didn't know there was a matter uh, of family or Dollar General. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're talking about by 85th. Never mind. Right, the one on Madison. Yeah. Look, I love you, and I'm sorry, okay? I realized I said some fucking things last night I shouldn't have, and it was only because the devil was fucking with me. Didn't have a good day yesterday myself. All I wanted to do was talk to you, and I couldn't get a word edgewise because you just kept going and going and going. That's why I hung up. Now, was that right of me? No, it wasn't. 
but to get me and you to stop saying dumb ass shit to each other that we don't mean, yeah, I hung up. And when I called back, I got ignored. Or you didn't have reception or what, I don't know. But I did call back like four times and no one picked up. Now, did you ignore me or did you just not get a reception? No, it was the reception. But I figured you wouldn't have hung up on me, so what was the point? So which one was it? It was the reception or you just didn't want to answer? It was both. But I was kind of fucked up. All I wanted you to do was shut up just give me You hung up on me. You wouldn't let me fucking say a word, babe. And you wasn't being disrespectful by just talking over me and not letting me say a word? Because you were sitting there accusing me and then telling me why was I guilty. Okay, you didn't give me a chance to apologize. That's what I kept telling you to shut up for. And you just kept fucking running off, babe. If you want a motherfucker to apologize to you, you will have to shut up for like 30 seconds so I can say it to you. And you wouldn't. I kept asking you. I even kept pushing the buttons to get you to shut up for a minute. Right, because you don't understand how bad what you said and how you were saying it, that it hurt it and affected me. Like, okay, and then talk about why am I out of breath? I had to walk up the steps from downstairs with me all the way upstairs. Did I know that? Like, did you bother to tell me that before I said anything? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I explained it to you, and it was like you did not want to hear it. And yes, that did upset me because for one, I'm not out here doing nothing. I'm not, if I didn't want to be here to continue to do everything and go through this with you, I would have been gone. Okay, but you don't sit here and threaten me with that. Don't threaten me with that, okay? Because I don't fucking take timely threats. You act like I did this to myself to be in here, okay? I didn't fucking do anything. Um, nobody's threatening me. Nobody's threatening me. I said I could have been gone. Okay, that's but a threat. That's a threat. That's no, a threat. It's not. I'm taking it as a threat. Because right, I don't have to be here. You're right, and but I don't you, have to be here. I don't have to be here. You don't have to be where? I don't have to be with you and the kids. I choose to You damn right you don't. If you don't want to be with us, you just let me know. Because there you know what? I didn't Is this what we're gonna do? We're gonna fight and argue? Because I'm gonna hang up again. Flat out. Good. I didn't call to fucking argue. I fucking waste your money trying to call me. Go call your other little bitch that you want to sit there and say that they're gonna be there for you, right? Because you don't have to be here for me and my kids. You damn right Are you, you don't have. To be. Are you done? You fucking done. You damn right you ain't have to be. Because what? I definitely don't have to be there for you. Okay, then don't. But that's You're how right. you fucking I'm feel. You don't. You, period. All right, remember you said that. I won't fuck with you no more and, and have a good life then. Okay, so you waste your fucking money calling your other little hoes and bitches. That's just going to copy up there your There you go again. Right? There you go again, right? How do I know you have got another dick out there? Your fucking book for somebody else for you to sit there and call. For you to sit well, good. I'll make sure I save every fucking dime on these books so I can give it back to you and throw it in your fucking face. Trust That's me, all you can think to it. give a fuck about. Trust me, I don't want it. Because you know what? It's pretty funny. Because you know what? I couldn't talk to you that when I finally do get to talk to you, I'm getting accused. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, now you're done, so you can shut up and let me talk. Are you done? Okay. Now, like I told you, you don't understand that Mariana ignores the fucking calls sometimes, okay? You don't get that through your fucking big-ass head. I called you seven times last night within five minutes, and every fucking time it says your call was declined. And don't say that if you ain't got no fucking service. I'm not dumb, okay? So why don't you shut up and jump out Mariana's ass for declining my fucking phone call? Why don't you shut up? Why are you being just so disrespectful? Always telling me to shut up. Always telling me to shut up. Come on, now you you can't talk to nobody, right? Ain't nobody sitting here disrespecting you. Are you done? Yeah, you are disrespecting me. You don't never fucking listen to me. I see. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Then explain to me why the calls were declined, then, huh? 
Excuse me, the girls were not reclined, and Mariana had problems with the How phone. are you going to tell me what the fuck I heard on the phone, Larissa? You can't. You're not God. <laughs> it said, please try again later. Your call was declined. What the fuck does that mean? That means somebody declined my call. Hello? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I think that's just your... Then why are you with me, man? I'm tired of you fucking not believing me. That shit's You're so right. sick and tired. Right. Maybe you should be with Cassie or somebody else. Maybe you, Maybe you should be with Jake then. Maybe you should be with Jake then. You run to him all the time. There you go again. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here and talk to you. Don't You're going to scream. I don't do nothing either, but you always want to accuse me. Why? You got to get the conscience. And sitting here dealing with all this myself, and where the fuck are you? Okay, now my fault. Hold on, wait a minute. Let's get something straight. Weren't you doing this before me? So why is it that big of a fucking deal now? Huh? Right? Miss Independent? Uh, you don't give a fuck, right? Because oh, I don't you give don't a fuck. The kid. I You're don't right. give a fuck. You don't with your kid neither. You're right. You're, You're right. right. Yep. Thanks for a great fucking night and a great fucking morning. <laughs> yep. And this is why I put money on your fucking book? I don't know. You tell me. You know I call every time. Look, are you going to shut up and let me talk? Are we going to have a conversation or are you just going to keep on running your fucking mouth? Flat out. That's all you're doing is running your fucking mouth. Nobody can say a word. Oh, my gosh. Shut the fuck up and let me talk. Then you wonder why. I can't stand you. When you get in there, you get so fucking disrespectful. All you've been doing is talking for fucking 10 minutes. Can I fucking say a sentence? Yep, go ahead. I'm going to shut the fuck up, just like you say. About time. Yeah. This will be the last time I talk to you today. No, this will be the last time we'll talk, period, then. You ain't going to threaten me, nigga. I don't Good. give a fuck no Good. more. What the fuck do I got to do? You sit there and call your other little bitches. I ain't getting uh, Okay, go fuck another nigga like you been. Sorry, no, I don't have to. I don't sure, have you're to. right. You got Jake in them, right? Yeah, I don't have to. Yeah, okay, Jake. Oh, Jake, 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 Jake. Yep, yep, yep. Like Jake, you Jake, said, Jake. he wants his family back, right? Remember, you said that dumb asshole ass shit. Yeah. Go accuse me like you always do. Yep. Go act guilty like you always do. Yeah. This is I'm a fucking guilty. shame, man. This I'm shame. not of uh, nothing because Neither I'm am not. I. Uh, Nothing. I mean, only God knows that. I don't. All I can do is have faith. Right. All God knows. And you know what? That's why God told me that you need to sit there calm your shit down before I do leave. I'm not calming shit down. And if you if you want to leave, if you want to leave, go ahead and leave. Don't threaten me. I done told you. I don't take time to leave threats. I'll say fuck you and leave myself. Period. Good. As bad as it'll break my heart, that's what I'll do. Maybe that's what the fuck do. And just leave everybody alone. Remember you said that then. Make it official. Yep, I will. Up. Make it official. Hang up. Bye. Hang I don't up. You hang up first. You nah, hang up first. If you're the one that wants it, big badass. Go ahead and do it. Hmm. I'm tired of not getting no fucking credit. Period. You know what? Just by me sitting there hanging up on you is not doing anything. So you know what? I'm not going to be petty or ignorant like you. And hang Petty up. and ignorant. You just told me you were leaving me, so I told you. Flat out. If that's what you want, hang the fucking phone up. I'll never call you again. Don't find you a Madonna hoe. <sighs> nah, I'm dumb with hoes, period. I'm dumb with all you hoes, period. Yeah, I ain't no hoe. Okay, then. So shut the fuck up and bring it up, then. I ain't no hoe. Then shut the fuck up and quit bringing it up, then. I'm not going to tell you again. No, I'm, I'm not going to talk to you. Uh, I'm not going to, you're not going to sit there and talk to me the way you think you're going to talk to me. But you're yet, not going to sit here oh, and talk to me the way you think yeah. you're going to talk to me. Just there you go again. Me. There you go again. You can't shut up for two seconds to hear what a motherfucker's saying. So, here you go. Okay, with your jail talk. That's all y'all motherfuckers do. Jail talk. Y'all sit there and make yourself look so damn good in there that when you come home, you just talk. It was just you realize I ain't hearing nothing. nothing. I ain't hearing nothing. I'm pushing the button on it. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. You hung up That's... on me yesterday. Go ahead. Hang up, then. 
Do it again. Make it official. Make it official. You made it official yesterday when you hung up on me. Oh, really? I did? Hmm. You did the yep. same thing you're doing now, running your fucking mouth and don't know how to shut up. Can't have a normal conversation with you because it's either Larissa's way or no way. Then fuck that. You sound just like Kathy in that regard. All right. All right. I'm not Kathy, bitch. I'm not Kathy. And I'm not you know fucking what? anybody else, ho. I'm nobody else, ho. Two in there, and I'm not okay. a bitch. You have one more time. Yeah, bitch, no. slut. Yeah, you, your mama, bitch. Yours, too. After the beep, please say United States. United States. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have thirty-seven dollars and sixty-six cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press 6. Thank you for using... Secure... Press... You may start the conversation now. Stop fucking hanging up on me, okay? It's costing more money for me. No, to no, you sit back. there and put yourself in my shoes. I just put seventy bucks up on your on your uh, account. Now can you shut up? And, and you trying to tell me there was one time I paid fifty bucks and it never went that fucking fast. Can you shut up? Never. And let me talk now, babe. That's all I'm asking. Yep, yep, God I damn. Will. I will. So that way you can sit there and say where the fucking money went. Okay, about time. So Thank crazy. you very much. Okay, you put 74, you said. I only got 70. Okay, that's first of all. And then yesterday, me and you talked. Yesterday afternoon, okay, we spent $10 on a phone card. That took it down to 60. I bought me a $2.90 bag of coffee with a hot cocoa creamer, okay? That came to 386, okay? That took it down to how much? From 70 to 15 or to 10, that right there plus the thing, you might as well say 15 bucks. That took it to 55. Then when I called you last night from the 216 number, that was three dollars and 96 cents to connect plus 36 cents a minute. We talked for four minutes. That was an almost seven dollar phone call, eight dollar phone call right there, which took it to 47. And I just blew fucking nine dollars right now this morning arguing with my soulmate. That's where the fuck the money went. There ain't nobody else but you, and you better stop fucking accusing me, just like I better stop fucking accusing you, woman. And now, to make sure I have enough money to talk to you next week, I'm not even getting the fucking coffee or the Kramer. I'm going to cancel the fucking order so I can get that $4 back. So with the 396 that I got left on my book, I'm sorry, 363 I got left on my books right now, along with the 390 something, I'll have enough to get another $5 phone call to talk to you on Tuesday or Wednesday. That's your problem, man. That's both our problems. We don't know how to fucking trust each other. You're too busy thinking I got holes and everybody else up here, and I'm too busy thinking you got dicks and everybody else down there. So what's it going to be? Is Kathy going to win? Well, for one, I, I said that I've got too many kids around here, and I don't have time to myself. So therefore, how would I be doing anything? I don't have time to That's not a good enough excuse for me, okay? All I wanted to hear from you, period, <laughs> That's not is that excuse. you're my wife. Come on, man. There you go again. Are we going to have a one-sided conversation where I just shut up and listen to you? Or is it going to go back and forth like a normal conversation? Wasting all the fucking money to up that you got on there. That shit crazy. That shit is fucking crazy. Oh, calling you? So now calling you is wasting the money, right? Because you're the only motherfucker I call. You only We only spoke like maybe three times. And that was it. You're not listening to me. Ten dollars was as soon as you put it on the fucking phone. Okay? 
Don't you remember I called you twice? That's ten dollars. Like I told you, I went and bought a bag of coffee and a hot cocoa creamer. Okay? I came up to almost four something. Or four bucks, something like that. The coffee's two ninety and the creamer's eighty nine, so whatever the fuck that comes to. So take the math. Sixty minus the we'll say five bucks. That's fifty five. Then I spent Almost nine bucks, ten bucks last night arguing with you, calling the 216 number. Because if you remember correctly, when I called the 832 number, couldn't get a hold of you. I had to spend the fucking money to call the 216 number. That ain't 21 cents a minute. That's three something for the first minute and 36 cents or 46 cents, whatever the fuck it is, a minute after that. But you don't seem to get that through your head. You think I'm out here doing dumb shit, man. That hurts my feelings, for real. Right, you're the only one with feelings, right? Hello, I just got done apologizing to you, but you're over here saying I'm blowing the money on calling everybody else. I don't even call my mom or my brother. You're the only one I call. That's it, period. But you don't seem to give me any credit. Wait, right now. When I woke up, serious as a fucking heart attack. When I woke up, it was almost forty-eight dollars. It was like forty-seven and some change on here. Okay. Do you know what the fuck I got on there now at the beginning of this call? Because you hung up on me, I hung up on you. We go back and forth, all this dumb shit. Hmm. Do you want to know how much that was on there? Like thirty-eight bucks. So you tell me how the fuck we went through nine dollars already just in one morning arguing? You think that's what the fuck I wanted to do? Huh? And then if I want to call you back again tonight, that's another $5, Larissa. You don't get it, babe. It's taking... I don't get it. Yeah, because you think I'm out here blowing the money on everything else. That's the part that's fucking killing me in my heart right now. If we would spend more time just fucking understanding each other instead of arguing, we wouldn't be going through this. First time since I've been locked up this time, we get into an argument. Go fucking figure. Hey, uh, oh, Is it me and you together forever or what? Yeah, it is. Okay. Is Kathy going to win? Yes or no? No. You love me? Of course I do. But I love you, beautiful. I'm sorry. I didn't get that one wink of fucking sleep last night thinking about you and the kids, okay? You hear me? I know. I love you. I love you, too. You don't think it kills me that you're out there going through all this bullshit again? And I'm not there to help? How the fuck do you think that makes me feel? Huh? I mean, seriously, have you ever thought about where I come from in this situation? How I'm feeling? That my soulmate's out there dealing with all this shit by herself? Hmm? I mean, honestly, have you honestly sat there for one minute and been like, damn, I wonder how Babe's feeling? I wonder how he's I always feeling. think that. I always do. And I do the same thing for you. So when you sit here and say hurtful shit like that, it kills me. Just like I know when I say hurtful shit to you, it kills you. But you gotta, if you don't believe me and trust me, I don't know what the fuck we're doing together then. I'm not blowing this money on nobody else but you. Why do you think I bought all the fucking phone time I did? Oh, and by the way, do you know how much it charged me to put fucking fifty dollars of phone time on here? Go ahead, take a guess. I don't know. Five dollars. Five dollars of my money to put fucking phone time on here, because five for every five dollar phone card, that's fifty cents. For every ten dollar phone card, that's seventy five cents. For every twenty dollar phone card, that's a dollar. Shit ain't cheap. Shit ain't free. I know this. And I know you do, too. 
But all I'm asking is, fuck, give me some fucking credit. Give me some fucking trust. I'm in jail. What the fuck can I do? Nothing. Nothing, beautiful, except beat my head against these fucking center blocks thinking about you and my kids. I would love to be right there right now playing Mortal Kombat with my kids laying in the fucking bed with my wife. I'd give my dick and balls up to do that shit. But that ain't gonna happen now, is it? So don't act like I got us so fucking made in here by fucking 40 fucking dudes sitting there smelling ass and every fucking thing else. This shit ain't no fucking camp retreat for me. I would rather be at home right now dealing with everyday life and headaches, dealing with our kids and inspection and everything else than sitting in this fucking jail talking to you on the phone. And if you don't believe me on that, I don't know what else to say or do. I love you. I love you too. Talk to me now. You're getting quiet. Why? Yeah. I was listening to you. Yeah, but you got me thinking over here like you don't want to be with me no more. Is that it? I didn't say that. Just since being in here, I don't watch three people lose their wives and kids over the same fucking dumbass arguments that me and you are having. So just let me know. Is that going to happen to us? No. I mean, honestly, is that going to happen to us? No, it's not. You're my babe, my soulmate and wife? Yes, I am. Always a prayer. Give, give it to me, Tati. Now. Always and forever? Always and forever. Promise? Where's my lighter? You, um, you promise? Huh? Yeah, I You promise? Promise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love you, sorry. beautiful, and I'm sorry for stressing you out, okay? Well, I'm sorry. Thank you. And I, I love you. It was just, okay, me doing my runarounds yesterday. Yes, I understand I got home late. But the thing is, I don't want to wait around for everybody else. I just want to make sure I get everything I need. So therefore, I'm not sitting there waiting. I know that. I know that. The only thing... And the only thing... I just wanted to be there to get everything I needed myself. So therefore, I'm not waiting. I still got a house full to clean. It's, it's, it's a disaster. I mean, the house is a disaster. And I got to do this. I got to clean. I didn't go to... I barely got any sleep. And then I have to get up, I have to shampoo the carpets, I gotta clean. I, and this is what I gotta be doing all day today, all day tomorrow. The inspection is on Monday between any time between eight o'clock in the morning to twelve o'clock. So I gotta make sure I'm up early just to make sure that the doors open so they can't sit there say that they knocked on it and nobody answered. I love you. And the only reason why I got stressed out is because yesterday, like I told you, when I called, I swear to you, I started calling you at 9.15. I didn't get a hold of you until 9.50. And in between that time, seven times, babe, the fucking phone said, sorry, please try your call again later. Your call was declined. Not not that your call was picked up by an answer machine like it normally said. It said it was declined. Declined. Which means somebody seen it, push the fucking red button. So, yeah, I started getting a little pissed off. At first, I was like, okay, maybe it's because she's giving the kids a bath, you know? And then when it kept doing it, kept doing it, I was like, what the fuck's going on? And then when I finally get a hold of you, you're out of breath. 
So right off the bat, the devil started fucking with me. That's my apologies, my fuck up. But I, I'm just doing my best to get you to understand where I'm coming from. And honestly, I honestly feel like when Mariana has the phone, she doesn't tell you every time I fucking call. And that shit pisses me off. Seriously, her phone is actually a piece of shit. I mean... Okay, I understand that, but then we need to get you and get a ride up here to come get my phone. Simple. Take the SIM card out of her fucking phone, put it in my phone. It's the same exact phone. Because it got a it got a big old crack in it now, and it's just been acting up so bad. So why don't you guys put my fucking cover and case on it? That's what she just had to do, but it's so... It's just like... I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's her battery. She needs a new battery or what, but it's just been crazy. Her phone's just been acting real stupid. Well, we need to get you up here to come visit me then. You have one minute left. God damn, maybe, man. Maybe that might just, you know, be something I get, you know, as an early Christmas gift, you know, something. Because, I mean, her phone, this is the only access way we have of anything. Well, I'm about to and get hung up on again. It just said we have one minute, and I'm going to call you back because I'm not done talking to you. I love you. Now I wish I had money on the card, so therefore don't, I could Don't. Don't, okay? Don't. You did everything you were supposed to. Just don't. I love you. I'm sorry. Give our babies a kiss for me, please. I will. They're all right here sitting next to me. Bubba's coloring. Just tell them I love them, okay? And I miss you guys. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have $19.30. This call will cost 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. Thank you for using Secure. Yes, you may start the conversation now. You know I gotta love you, and I gotta say I love you without you hanging up on me. <laughs> I love, I love you, you, my gorgeous soulmate. Relax today, okay? I know you got a shampoo and carpet, but take it slow, please. Yeah, I'm shampooing my carpet to finish up today. Okay, just take your time, please. Don't stress yourself and don't don't upset the little man in the belly. I'm not. Okay, I love you, gorgeous, and I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, love you, too. Thank you, beautiful. You don't got to thank me. Yeah, I do. Thank you for everything. I love you. I love you too. I'm my sexy soulmate. I'm my sexy soulmate. Talk to you later. Okay, I love you. Give the babies a kiss for me. I will love you too. <laughs> Bye, my beautiful soulmate. Bye. After the beat, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have $24.09. This call will cost. 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 
Two, if you would like to permanently block, thank you for using Curious, you may start the conversation now. You know, I got to get my voice. I can't let her just hang up on us when we're in the middle of saying I love you. Get off. Love you. I love you, gorgeous. I love you, too. Oh, Boo Boo told me to tell you, to tell Daddy, he said, tell him that my birthday's coming up. Tell his birthday already passed. <laughs> Daddy's the right. oldest for his birthday. <laughs> right. Tell him, Daddy said for him to please be good for Mommy. He's the only one that's awake. Uh, Everybody else is asleep. Mama too? No, Mama is still up. Well, we had 2409 at the beginning of this call. I just wanted to call and tell you I love you. I don't like when it hangs up on us in the middle of saying I love you. Right. So I love you. Sleep with angels on your pillow. Just know you guys are always in my heart, in my thoughts, and my prayers. Okay? And I just fixed that. Get off. Now. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. And I'll call you in the morning, okay? All right. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Bye, my gorgeous soulmate. I love you. I miss you. I love you, too. I thank you so much. Always and forever. Always and forever. One love. One love. I love you, gorgeous. I'll call you in the morning, okay? I love you, love you. I love you too, beautiful. Sleep with angels on your pillow. Try to relax, please. I'm going to try. I'm almost done for the night. No, you get your ass upstairs. You're done already, okay? I am upstairs. All right. Well, just lay your hands down. You're done. Okay. All right. Love you. All right. Love you too, sexy. All right. I'm a beautiful wife. I love you. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have $1.46. This call will cost 21 cents. Per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like... Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi, my sexy soulmate. Hello. I'm a sexy soulmate. You okay? Yes. Did my PO call you today? No. no. I only got I only got like five minutes, okay? But listen, my PO came no. to see me today, and I filled out my probation paperwork already. And uh, okay. they uh, gave me, if I fuck up, I got 18 months in prison. But everybody's telling me that wow. the only way, they said the only way they come and, get, come and do that is if you're about to go home any day, Rodriguez. And I said, what? And they were like, your probation officer doesn't come and see you until you're about to go home. They don't have you fill none of your probation and paperwork out until you're about to go home. So there's a good chance I might be coming home this week. So I'm wondering week. if you're going to be going to the court. And I, I, that's what uh, my buddy, Mr. Wazowski. This week or next week? I might be going home this week or next week. And I checked my sentencing papers. Nothing was said about the about prison. That's good. And so Mr. Rosowski said the motion that you filed, Rodriguez, uh-huh. they're probably going to accept it. 
He said, you don't have to right. go back in front of Kimbler, but you might. He said, she could rule on it without you coming. He was like, but the fact that your probation paperwork says if you fuck up one time, you're going to prison for 18 months. He said, that's a good sign that the judge is saying, okay, we'll let you out early, but if you fuck up, you're going to prison. Right. Yep. And I signed the paperwork today. And, right. Uh, you're going you're doing 18. And she said, uh, it's a fucking little old lady. I mean, not old, but she's older than us, like Nancy's age or something. And, uh, She's getting my probation switched to Cleveland. She said it might take like a month, but I have to come and uh-huh. see her once a week. So I got to beg Presley to take me every Tuesday out here Good. to see her. Huh? What would you say, babe? I think he'll do it. I think he'll do it, though. But she said flat out. She said, I said you... I think he'll do it for you. you know what yeah. I mean? Well, she told me. That she's not going to have. Remember, I told you I have to call that number okay. every day to see. If, what? Uh-huh. Can you hear me? I can, no, I can't. Remember how I told you that they had me. Uh, they have. They had me to where I had to call a number every morning to see if I had to take a drug test. Uh huh. She's not going to make me do that. She's not going to make me do no community service, and she's not making me go to no classes. She said, I want okay. you to get a job. The first 30 days you're out, you have 30 days to get a job. She said, then if you can't find a job, then you got to do your, com- your community service. And I right, was like, but, but you're going to be what first when you get out. Right, right. And she said, because I gave her your number, I gave her the address, and I told her we were married, okay. the whole nine yards, you know the truth. She said she was going to mm-hmm. call you either tonight or tomorrow to make sure I okay. live there. And she said, don't be surprised the first month that you're out before you're switched to Cleveland that I don't show up at your house with a Monona County Sheriff. I said, why? Would I go to jail? She said, no. I just want to go there, make sure you live there, make sure there's no drugs in the house, no alcohol. She said, does your wife do any of that? I said, she don't do nothing, man, except smoke cigarettes. She never had a parking ticket. She don't have nothing on her record. Right. And she said, okay. And I asked everybody here in the pod, babe, and they're all saying the same thing. They're like, Rodriguez, the probation officer does not come and see you until you're about to go home. And I was like, yeah, because I'm not scheduled to be released until April 18th. And he was right. everybody, and everybody was like, there's no way she's coming to see you now and have you fill out your paperwork now unless you're about to go home. And I was like, are you serious? You know why? I think Kimbler only basically gave you about 30 days. No. I think that motion I filed and telling her about you being uh, high risk and right. me questioning right. the DNA and she, uh, the D, the probation officer said I will I will have to give them a DNA sample. You have one minute left. Fuck, oh, man. I love you and I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully something comes up tomorrow to where I can put it on there. I'm going to try to see if I can get another phone call from someone, but I love you, beautiful. And uh, I'm not going to take the coffee tomorrow. I'm going to send it back. So I'll have $5 to get a $5 phone card tomorrow, okay? Okay. And she told me that once I get released, all I got to do is call her. But if I get released uh-huh. in the morning and I want to go see her, I can go see her. So I'll be done with it that week. But I just want to call right. and tell you I love you. Just don't get your hopes too high up, okay? Okay. I love you, and, and I'm praying this is good news for us. Right, I, I love you, my sexy soulmate. Come on. Nah. I miss you. Say a prayer, okay? I do. I sure will. Thank you for the letters. And I'm sorry if you think mine are mean. They're not. I love you. Thank you for using Securus. Love you. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Pick up the connection. Thank you. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, please hold while we attempt to connect your call. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. 
This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information. Telecommunication services provided by Securus Technologies. For more information on products and services, visit www.securustech.net. Calls are subject to recording and may be monitored. You may start your conversation now. Hello? It's not free. Well, how much was it? It's the same. Oh my God! Are you serious? Yes. Why? What was that, Mimi? She just smacked me with the teddy bear. Oh. Uh, can't, can't. Okay, baby, I love you, Angel. I'm sorry. Hello. 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 You got me and me. She being me. Yeah, she looked at the phone like, huh? Me a diamond, that an angel. I love you. Hey, <coughs> baby. <coughs> I love you. Be good girl. She threw the phone. Hey, angel. What is she, she doing? Was gonna smack it. She's gonna smack the phone. Yes, she's gonna smack you to the phone. <laughs> she said, "Smack, smack, smack." Where the fuck you at, Daddy? No, no, she's just smacking everybody. She yeah. just smacked me in my face. Uh, she me. That's not nice. No. I love you. I miss you, girl. You're so fucking bad. I miss you too. Um. Well, as of right now, I don't know if you can or not, but I I put you in uh, one of the kids on visits for Saturday. Do I have to bring anything with me? Just your ID, beautiful. I mean, as far as like the kids, the, or just bring them. Uh, they, it says you could bring up. It says you could bring one, uh, one child. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna come all, all the way over here to beat me up some more, huh? Uh, okay. Um. She said okay. The visits, though, I just learned. They said I have to put you on the visiting list 48 hours before a visit. So, like right now, it's Thursday. I just put you on the visit, so you're okay to come on Saturday. But if you didn't want to come Saturday, Wait, then I... okay. But they don't. If you don't show, they don't disqualify you for a couple visits, right? No, I know they, some no. of them do. No, they don't do that. They, they don't. They, they don't do that. If I was to try and have three visits in a week, then yes, I would get locked out and have a loss of privileges. Huh? Let me find out. You got some other visitors. So you have Miss Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you ask my car, wouldn't get out. 
the first thing I said was, huh, I don't think he's that stupid to let uh, have visitors, especially Kathy. Let me find out. <laughs> Car Car started laughing. She goes and says, yeah, I don't think he's that stupid. <laughs> I would never do that to you, my queen. You are my soulmate, Miss Rodriguez. I love you endlessly, and I don't let it be known in my whole pod. If anybody talks about my wife and my kids, I'm catching another case. I don't give a fuck. Period. Everybody just looked at me and they were like, You don't mean you don't try to come down the steps? What? Yeah. She said I did. <laughs> oh, my she, baby. Come. She, she went up the step and then she started coming down. She said, I did. Did Car Car never like one of your exes, babe? No. Nope. And the reason why it, it touched me I mean, so she, much. Just tell you. You could, ask, you could ask her, and she'll tell you, I just deal with them because you was with them. But she never talks to them like the way she does about you. And she told you She's that like, she did that from me? Huh? What happened? I said, what she say again? Oh, she goes and says, don't give up on me, that you're the best one, you know, for me in the case. I told her, I said, I'm not... It made me feel proud, especially, you know, coming from her, knowing that, you know, she's like the main one that, you know, she's by my side. You know what I'm proud of? You know, we just, and it has nothing to do with nothing. You know what I'm proud of? Giving you a chance almost two years ago. And walking over there and giving my baby kiss, saying, I'll be right back, babe, I'm going to the store. I'm proud to have you as my wife and my soulmate, Miss Rodriguez. I am too. I told, I told Madi, and she says, do I hear wedding bells? I said, yes, you do. I said, we waited too long. I said, as soon as he get home. Well... I want that tattoo that I'm about to nail you out tonight, and it's going right over my heart. The one on my back is getting covered up, and I already got another one for that one. The only name that will be on this body is my wife, my soulmate. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. And it makes sense for them. But I don't want to look this no more. Oh, don't say that. We, you know what? I realize we can't blame him for her her doing. You know what I mean? I was hoping you realize, like, when you know that's not him, when she made that comment earlier of, oh, I hope it's not a boy because he feels like he's, he's being replaced, that's not him. That was her. That's her. That's her. But, oh, well, who is she? She's not God to predict whether I'm having a girl or a boy. No, but your husband is. And didn't I tell you that we were having a girl with Mimi? Yep. And I know my heart and my soul, we're going to have a baby boy. And he's going to be born around little Christmas birthday. And that's going to fuck Kathy up. And you know what? His birthday is April, right? Yep, April 17th. Right, and I told her I was doing April, and she just kind of made that face to turn it like. Because in that bitch's head, she still thinks she has a fucking chance with me. That bitch ain't got no chance with you. Just <laughs> like I told her. I, said, I, I told her, I'm his future. I said, and you know what? It was funny because I was texting Marty, you know, what was going on. And mm-hmm. I told her, yeah, I told her that I was his future, his one and only Rodriguez, and she's just a hoe from the past. Yep. Yep. That's the God's honest truth, Mr. Rodriguez. The God's honest truth. And you know what? That she's jealous. She's jealous. She can't have you. So she's gonna try anything and everything in her in her possible way to get what she wants. And you know what's funny? All that talking and it's beginning, when you and her first up. huh? <laughs> I said it's gonna get her fucked up. All that shit she was talking about me in the beginning. Now you see, babe, 
and I, I and I, I didn't say anything in the beginning when you and her first started talking because I wanted for you to see for yourself, not hear your husband's side of the story and then hear his baby mama's side. I wanted you to see how vindictive and how connived. Huh? I said I was keeping her out myself. No, it wasn't I know. that I was buddy. It's just you know I was. That was my way of keeping her out on what type of female she is. And I guarantee you, just like I told you, if I was to call her and tell her, okay, Kathy, you win, I'll give you the dick, I guarantee you she'll give me a little Chris. Guarantee you. And that's why I hate that hoe. It'll never, ever fucking happen. You, this, I'm in, I am yours to the day I die. Everything on this body, everything in this body is yours. No other woman will ever touch, feel, taste, or anything with me ever again. It is you. And it's been that way since I've been with you. And that's what's killing Kathy. She'll never have me again. And she knows she fucked up with a good man. She knows that. She knows I her like up. That. When she asked how long we've been together, I went and told her, and she was like, oh, he don't plan on going nowhere? You don't plan on? Nope. And you know, it killed her. When the attorney sat there and said, yeah, I spoke to his wife, and his wife is in this courtroom right now. Yep. Yep. You know it killed her. And then you heard what he said? His wife is a high-risk pregnancy, Your Honor. Right. I honestly, God, I didn't see her. I All I cared about was looking through the crowd and finding you. And as soon as I turned that corner and seen my gorgeous wife, I didn't give a fuck about nobody else in that courtroom. I didn't give a fuck about the judge. I didn't give a fuck about the prosecutor, the lawyer, nobody. All I was fixated was on you. And when I tried to look back at you, the fucking uh, deputy was like, turn around. Like, motherfucker. Oh, Mimi. But the third the third shift sergeant, the one that's in control of letting people in the West Pod, he comes on shift at third shift tonight at 11 o'clock. And I fill out a kite on the kiosk for him to come talk to me. And I'm going to be up when he comes in the pod so I can go right up and talk to him and be like, hey, sir, I was cleared by medical. I got all that taken care of. You told me once I'm sentenced, I can go into an inmate, work, you know, inmate worker pod. I've been sentenced today. What's up? Can you get me in there this weekend? All right. Because, hey, the little old lady that runs the kitchen, she remembered me from 2013. She said, you're the quiet one from New Mexico. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, oh, I would love to have you back in the worker pod. You never gave me no problems. You always done what you told. She said, I didn't mind giving you free phone calls or free pops or free pizzas. That's exactly what that woman told me. And I was like, well, what do I got to do? She said, just tell Deshaun that you're sentenced and that I want you back. And when I sent the sergeant a uh, kite on, the, on Halloween, he was like, look, as soon as you're sentenced, re-kite me, please. And I was like, all right, cool. So when the nurse came to give me my mucinex, I was like, hey, man, I showed her my arm because they gave me a shot for the tuber tuberculosis to see if I had it. And she was like, you're clear. I was like, I'm clear? She was like, yeah. She was like, so when Deshaun asked me about Rodriguez clear to go to Met or clear to go to work upon, she was like, I'm going to tell him, yeah, you're clear, Mr. Rodriguez. I was like, thank you very much. All right. So... And what I'm going to do is every Wednesday, huh? we got a number, one phone call tomorrow, I think. Well, make sure you call that number in the morning, baby. If you remember, I'll I trip you and see if I'll let you get that. Right. Because if, if they do give you that 15 back... It's off. Okay. Well, if they give you that 15 back, that'll be, what, 30? Yeah. That'll be at least five, you know, five dollar phone calls. So that'll be five fifteen minute phone calls. At least we'll have enough for the rest of the weekend, you know. Right, and just know that if anything posts tomorrow then I'll just put it on there. I know, babe. I know. I just I just want you to know, like even if we don't have enough time to talk all weekend, like just know I'm always thinking about you and my kids. Same here. And even when we don't talk or if we can't talk, I'll write letters. I will too, you, beautiful. You know I will. I love you. I just hope you don't get mad if I trip you a million times a day. No, I love it. I miss, I miss you too. 
Mimi over here getting into stuff. She's playing with the uh, PS3 controller. No, it's okay. I got that set up. You heard her? She, yeah. She's going to cut tomorrow out. <laughs> Everybody else is sleeping. She took her little cat nap and she's up. Tell my baby girl I love her and tell her thank you for being such a big girl. And we got a big girl, so she's that young, young woman. Such a big girl. Yeah. Tell, her I, tell her I said, no, she's not even my big girl. She's my young woman, my young lady. He said, you're not even his big girl. You're his young young lady. He just I know like, what the hell? Tell her she's my preteen. She's my teenager. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, Mimi starting to wheeze again. You have one minute remaining you on your call. Left. I love you guys. And sweet put angels on your pillow, please. And just know I love, I love you guys. Angels too. I love you guys and I miss you. Love you. I miss you too. Mwah. Tomorrow, when we got that call, you want me to do it in the morning? That's up to you. Whenever you want to accept it, my sexy wife. That's all up to you, okay? Um, but what I need for you tomorrow is get all the information from Stetzer, what time your appointment is, so that way when I get my furlough request form, I can have it all and send it to the uh, send it to Sergeant Boone so I can go to the appointments with you. All right. I love you, gorgeous. I love you. I love you. I love you. I miss you, my soulmate. I miss you too, my sexy soulmate. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate, and I miss you and the kids. Thank you. You have six dollars and fifty-seven cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents. Per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello. This is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to thank you for using Securus, you may start the conversation now. Hi, baby. Hey. What's that noise? noise? What noise? Uh, the TV? The, oh, that's the TV. Yeah, TV and Mimi. Well, we just got off lockdown. Uh, I got a little nervous that I wouldn't be able to call you. What happened? They had us on lockdown for like 15, 20 minutes. I guess someone else in a different pod was fighting, so they closed the whole jail down, locked it down. Everybody had to go back to this hell. Wow. Yep, that's how it works. So punish everybody just for what uh, somebody else did. Yep. Yep. They put everybody on lockdown at like nine ten and just now got out. And a couple of dudes was like, Well, I don't know if we're gonna get out and I was like, That's bullshit, bro. If we don't get out, like I promised my wife I'll call her about nine thirty, like, what the fuck why are we getting in trouble? Because another pod getting in trouble. Like that don't make no sense. Right. I promise when I get out, like shit's gonna be different, like way different. I can't stand being away from you and my kids. Like, this shit is killing me. I can't stand it, neither. It's, gonna all, fall back to it's all because that vindictive asshole wants to sit here and fucking try and break my spirit and make me leave you and my kids, and it's not never going to happen. Mm-hmm. That's how she's doing. She, she's going to see if uh, we're going to stick by each other. That's what it is. Well, she's not breaking me. I know she ain't gonna break you, at least I pray she ain't, and I know my wife. She ain't gonna break me. You're all that I want, you and my kids, you know that, right? 
Yeah. You feel the same way? Yes, I do. I broke a nail. It was all up, you, Mama, and Mimi. Yeah, me, Mama, and Mimi. I love you, my sexy the boys, wife. The boys would sleep before 8.30. Well, gotta watch, though, because they're going to have to be trying to get up early. Damn, I don't know. No, no, I think I'm going to go on strike to, uh, as far as buying food off a of commissary. Like, I just want phone time. Like, I need to talk to you every day. If I can't talk to you every day, I'm going to go fucking crazy in here. No. Like, for real, like, I'm mad. Stuff in there too. I'm mad that I bought coffee because that would have been $10 more. You mad because you bought coffee? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ten dollars worth of coffee. That's how much their bag is, babe. Really? Mm-hmm. What the hell? Well, no, no, I'm lying. The bag of coffee is eight dollars, seven ninety. But I had to get a wild cherry Pepsi, and I had to get an envelope so I could write you this week. <laughs> they said I had to have my cherry Pepsi. Yeah. Yep, just like my wife. We've been drinking the RC. I know, but that's the closest thing I got. I love you, sexy. I love you. I I made that money stretch, and I still got two dollars left. I love you. We still got like two (laughs) dollars. I mean, I'm low on cigarettes, but I I don't care. I'm sorry. We got to keep going through this shit. Like, I thought we were done. Like, but I made my mind up. I'm going to, um, I'm going to file a motion. They're going to give me my motion papers tomorrow, and I'm going to file a motion for sentence reduction. So every day this week, Miss Kimberly's going to get a fucking uh, motion for sentence reduction from me, and I'm going to keep doing it. Until she fucking takes me back to court to hear me. Do you know what I'm saying? And this Friday, when I go back to legal research, I'm going to ask that lawyer if I have a case to file an appeal because of the judge, because of the fucking the dollar amount, and because of the lawyer. If if they say, yeah, you have a legitimate case to file an appeal, I'm filing an appeal, okay? And then they got to give me another bond, and then they got to set another pretrial, or set another trial for me, which that won't happen until the first of the year. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Because if they, if they do give me a, a bond, which they have to, like the lawyer told me, if you file an appeal, the whole process starts back over. You know what I'm saying? So they'll right. give me a bond, and then I'll be out on bond, and it'll be right around Christmas time. So they're going to push it back, and then I'll have pretrial. You know what I'm saying? And then uh-huh. we'll go from there, and then trial will probably be about late January, early February. You know what I mean? Right. But right now I'm going to file for a motion of sentence reduction, and I'm going to keep doing that. And the last week of February, I mean the last week of November, if they ain't trying to hear me about the motion sentence deduction, I'm filing an appeal. Right. Because I'm I'm not I, I gotta get out. I gotta get to my wife and kids. Like I got to. Like this shit is killing me. Like I'm tired of fucking being here. I'm tired of waking up, tired of seeing the same old faces, like no disrespect to nobody in here, but I, I'm used to waking up to my wife and kids. You know what I'm saying? And then you take me for away from that and it's like I'm fucking lost. Same here. I do nothing but clean, clean, clean just to keep my mind busy. To keep it. I really hope you get your letter tomorrow I sent you because I know it's going to make you cry when I see that, t- when you see that tattoo. Mimi's playing peekaboo. I see you. you. You promise you don't think she'll forget me? She's going through daddy withdrawals. You don't think she'll forget me? No, she's going through daddy withdrawals. How you know? I can't hear you, baby. Hello? No, I can't. Can 
Well, she all she said last night was that, 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 that. I had to lay with her to put her to sleep. I think she'll hate me because of this? No. Remember, she's hmm. not used to you being away. The last time you were away, she was a baby, baby. Mama's going to hate me because of this. I can already tell she does. No. Mm-hmm. You ask her? Yeah. Mar, Dad said you hate him for having to, him leaving us and putting and us having to do this all over again. They sure do. You know she don't. She just said it just because you think so. If I only call you twice a day, like once in the morning and once at night, to like make the money straight. Yeah. I know we ain't got money like that, but I don't want you to think like I don't want to talk to you, like you know, like I'm abandoning you or something. No. And I don't I mean, want to like you chirp you. That's what I'm saying. You don't mind me chirping you all the time. Uh. Uh-uh. uh I love you, Mr. Rodriguez. I love you too, Mr. Rodriguez. You're my one and only love, always and forever. Yes, yes, yes. That's what my tattoo says. I miss you. I miss you. Um, so you're going to put 50 on the gas bill and then what, 50 on the lights or something? Yeah. Because if you do that, that'll still leave you with 50 bucks from Nancy. You know what I mean? Not counting what you get for uh, on the card. Right. But I, I, I mean, I know, you know what I mean, there's a lot of, you know, things that play into it because, you, you know, we don't got a babysitter and, you know, there ain't. Really, I don't know if Rite Aid does pictures or not, but I really want some pictures of you and my kids, babe, like, for real. Like, that's all I do is sit there. That's all I do is sit there and think of you guys, like, remembering your smile, remembering the kids' faces, like, I mean, I guess you, I mean, call up the Rite Aid tomorrow and see if they do pictures up there, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I think they got that scanner thing. Yeah, and all you got to do is get that uh, memory card and put it inside that little adapter thing. And there's one of them things inside of the brown drawer in our bedroom. You know, the bigger, like the big, like uh, it looks like a SD, or it looks like a memory card, but it's the big one. And mm-hmm. you put the little memory card in it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Because they said you can mail them to me in the uh, envelopes, you know what I mean, when you mail, mail me uh, letters and that. Did you find out if, um, what was I going to say? I can send you the regular stamp mail, but you need the pro, you need the pro, three stamps? No, 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 you can't. You can send me letters with the stamped envelope that you put on there, but you cannot send me any letters are no envelopes or no stamps inside of the um, envelope you send me. They'll just take it and put it in my property. Oh. See, I have to order envelopes off of the kiosk, the pre-stamped ones. They don't let nobody uh-huh. send no letters in the mail no more to us. You know what I mean? Every third, they're, they're mm-hmm. money hungry here. All they want you to do is spend money, spend money, spend money. All right, so that means you got to buy paper and you got to buy the envelopes. Yes, and that's why that's what well, some of my phone. Care. Huh? Mark cut her hair. Why? She shaved. I mean, she shaved it. Oh my god! Because she's trying to get me to tell you she shaved her hair. 
She better not, or I'm going to kick her fucking ass. Dad didn't say if she's allowed to. That's right, he's going to kick your ass. I miss you. I miss you. Mar goes and tells Mimi that Mimi's not her favorite, and she said, yeah, uh, yeah, huh, yeah, I am. <laughs> but all she said, Dad, when Mar... I love you, Mimi. She said, uh, Dad? Hold on. Go ahead. Me a diamond, that is angel, I love you. Where's my baby? Me a diamond. That is angel. You said get sissy. <laughs> Mama, you better leave your sissy alone. I'm going to bow you. You better shut up, Mama. You know damn well she's your favorite. She's not her favorite. She said, yeah, I am. <laughs> I love you guys. I miss you guys so damn much. Love and miss you. My mark care less if I ever come back. She don't like me. That's because you're chewing gum. Yeah, I am. I is. She said I is. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, well, I was probably going to say one minute here soon. Mm. You hear me? Yeah. Like I said, you don't get mad at me. Like, I mean, honestly, babe, like, you don't get mad at me because I try to stretch out the money, like, once in the morning, once at night. No. Mm-hmm. Promise? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, because you know I'll be chirping you 20,000 times a day. I know. You know, people still can't believe I get to chirp you. They don't think you, they don't believe me when I tell you that, when I tell them that my wife gets all my messages. And they're like, nah, uh uh-huh. I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. She hears every fucking thing I say. Uh-huh. You have one minute left. I told you. I knew I was going to say that. I love you, my sexy soulmate. And I will talk to you in the morning, okay? Okay. Sleep with angels on your guys' pillows, okay? I'll say a prayer. Mm-hmm. I love you. I love you. Mwah. You are my soulmate, Miss mm-hmm. Rodriguez. Always remember this, okay? You are mine. Promise? I promise. I love you, sexy. I love you, sexy. I love you, I love you, I love you. If it uh, loads tomorrow, just, you know, keep trying to check because then if it loads tomorrow, then I'll load it up for you. Okay, sexy, I love you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you, beautiful. I love you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. After the beep.